Hello everyone, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Hope you all are doing great. Today I am going to explain hierarchical linear modeling or HLM. Other names of HLM are mixed models, uh, multi-level models and uh, random slope models etc. Now the question is why we use hierarchical linear modeling. So you have to listen this very carefully and try to understand this reasoning that why we need to use hierarchical linear modeling. So the question to be understood is, is there a level two variable effect on a level one intercept which represents the mean score? If there is an effect of level two variable on the level one intercept, then the ordinary regression methods will not be used because they will suffer from correlated error. Therefore, some form of linear mixed modeling is required to analyze multi-level data. In other words, nested data or multi-level data or the clustered data suffer from general linear regression model assumptions. In other words, the nested data violate the general linear regression model assumption of autocorrelation. Now I'll again repeat this thing with an example. For instance, if there is a level two variable effect, for instance, level two variable is teacher's experience on the level one intercept of, for instance, performance scores of students. So this represents the mean score at level one. So if there is a teacher's experience effect on the level one intercept of performance scores of students, then the normal regression, ordinary regression is not useful there because those methods will suffer from correlated error. And nested data violate general linear regression model assumption of autocorrelation. So what is that assumption? So the assumption of autocorrelation is that no autocorrelation between the disturbances. Given any two x values, xi and xj, where i is not equal to j, the correlation between any two disturbances, mean ui and uj, where i is not equal to j, is zero. So symbolically, the covariance of ui and uj for xi and xj is equal to zero. So this is the autocorrelation assumption of a general linear regression model and the nested data violate this assumption. In nested data, there is an autocorrelation between multiple levels. Now I'll uh, tell you the assumptions of uh, using hierarchical linear modeling. So the first assumption is data do not need to meet the homogeneity of regression slopes requirement. So the homogeneity requirement is not required. Number two, data must be linear and normal. The data must fulfill the linearity and normality mean Gaussianity assumption of general linear regression model. The assumption of homoscedasticity must be met. This is also an assumption of general linear regression model that should be met. The assumption of independence is not required. Here you can see this is very important to understand this fourth assumption. This is dealing with autocorrelation. So if your data are violating autocorrelation assumption, then no problem. We will use it in hierarchical linear modeling because this independence assumption of your variables is not required in hierarchical linear modeling. Now I'll give you some examples to understand what is hierarchical linear modeling. See this picture scenario. In this picture, the employees working in an organization are nested into departments. So what does it mean? See, that these employees are at level one and they are nested within departments in the organization. So there could be multiple departments. So what does it mean? that the department represent level two. So in simple words, employees at level one are nested or clustered within departments or level two. 
So this is an example of two level model. Now see this example. If there are multiple time points per person and multiple persons are there, these data are grouped because multiple time points are nested within each person. So this is also an example of two level models where time points are nested within persons. Now see this classroom example. Students are at level one. So students are nested within classes. Here you can imagine there is a school. In school there are various classes and in those various classes every class has various students. So the students are nested or clustered within the classes. So this is also an example of two level modeling where students are at level one and classes are at level two because students are nested within classes. This is another example, but this example extend the level two. This is three level example, three level model. Here at level one, there are employees and employees are nested within departments. So departments are at level two and departments are nested within organizations. So the organizations or companies are at level three. So this is an example of three level hierarchical linear model. This is an other example of three level modeling. You can see it's a school environment. It's a school scenario. At level one, there are students and students are nested within classes. Classes are at level two and classes are nested within school. So schools are at level three. So this is an example of three level hierarchical linear modeling. So as I told you that uh, in such situation where nesting effects are there on the intercept of level one outcome variable, it simply means that we cannot use ordinary regression to assess that model. So we have to use the hierarchical linear modeling. And to analyze this type of nested data, a specialized software is used that is called HLM7, Hierarchical Linear Modeling 7. This was developed by SSI, Scientific Software International, which is a company that develops uh, statistical software. In my next video, I will show you how to deal with HLM7 and how to analyze nested data by using HLM7. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn uh, something uh, new and an easy way from this video. Thank you very much.